Hello everybody, my name is Wimekai, or you can call me Grace. I'm 12 years old. Today, I want to share with you this book of which I'm holding on my head. It's called Grandpa's Fortune Fables. Well, you think the title is a little weird, but when since I read it, it became my favorite book. Well, before I tell you why this book became my favorite book, I will talk about a bit of this book. Yeah, it's the content. Well, we have some characters right here. There's this old man we have a nickname is Wealthy Wobbly. But before he had the Wealthy Wobbly nickname, some bad people called him Whippy Wobbly because he was so skinny. Well, the bad guys are Richie Raccoon and Shovel Sam. Richie Raccoon is the one who spreads the rumors that he found gold on the island, which is called Pucha Pucha. And Whippy Wobbly, or Wealthy Wobbly, came there and dig for gold. To dig, he has to pay money from Shovel Sam, for Shovel Sam, because, you know, he sells shovels. Well, this little girl, he, she's called Gail. And is her and is Grandpa's wobbly granddaughter. And let's go in the back. Wow, we have a new character. Yes, his name is Boris. He was a bully since because he just bullies girl. For example, he kicks girls' flowers and he got then girl got so upset. But her grandpa said that the bully, when they do bad things to other people, they don't have a good childhood. So we need to be nice, even they are all bullies. But when girl tell Boris some of her grandpa's amazing stories to the island, Boris never become a bully anymore. He became good friends with Gail and they are trying to invest money. Yes, this is what the book's about. It teaches kids about money, how to spend money correctly and also how to invest more money. Yeah. So now I will tell why I love this book and it became my favorite book. First thing, you know, it teaches kids about money. They, they, well, they teach kids how to spend money correctly and how to invest money. For example, if Morris kicked girls' flowers, she used the petals that fall on the ground. Then she books and, and glues it to a picture. For example, she makes a heart out of flower petals and she goes to sell it. She also puts it in a glass frame and it costs her more money. So she sells it about like $7. So yeah, if more people buy it, she will, the cost will go up. So she has more money and her investment is really good and it could not go bust. Well, what is bust? Well, for example, we have a library. Well, at first, there are a lot of customers to go and read. But day by day, less customers go and then there are no customers. So they go bust. Then they don't have to they don't have money anymore. So the store is closed forever. That is called bus. Well, the second thing why I love this book so much is that it has words.
words that you don't know and is very easy to remember. Well, let me go to the glossary. For example, gambling, investing, rich, patience, scam, tax, and many other things. For example, I explain tax. is when the government takes a little bit of your money then help the community. Well, for example, like those that build schools, build hospitals, and build roads. Grandpa Jack calls them money birds. Why? Because they fly away to the government's hands to help the community. Well, this book has a very great impact for your kids. Firstly, well, on, for most schools, they don't teach kids about money. So, this book is a very precious book and is very perfect for your kids. Well, for the second thing is they teach three rules about wealth. Three rules of wealth. The first rule is keep one of every 10 seeds you receive. For example, you have pocket money. Say your mother gave you $10. So you keep $1 for yourself and put it in the piggy bank. $9 to spend it for your favorite things like toys, comics, or video games. Secondly, plant your seeds. Well, when you plant your seeds, they will grow, 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 grow. So you need to put the money. Don't spend it right away. You need to wait. And it's the third one. Be patient. When you receive your money that you want to spend right away, then you will have lots of money. So when you plant, then you will think, Oh, I will be rich someday. But but it's a hard thing to do because because waiting is a hard is a hard thing to do because people might think I'm so bored, I don't have anything to do. Then look into the piggy bank and take the money and spend it right away. Then they become poor again. So be patient. If you receive your pocket money, then you have to put it in your piggy bank and be patient then you will be rich or be wealthy someday so parents this book is very precious for your kids it teaches kids about money and how to spend it and invest it correctly so why don't you go to the store and find a book like this to try and to read it for yourself thank you